Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood with some good news and a three-year contract extension for you, Adam. How are you feeling after that? Oh yeah, obviously um, delighted to, to, to finally get it all agreed and, and everything. Um, you know, I've been been talking with the club and, and George and Barry uh, for a while now um, to try and get it get it sorted and yeah, just pleased that to get it over the line. Um, you know, we had a, had a chat in the, in the summer and. Just felt now with how the club's progressing and um, you know lots of exciting things uh, happening in the pipeline. That it's definitely a club that's you know going in the right direction, and um, you know, I'm still very ambitious. And you know with the the talks that we've had, it looks like the club is as well. So yeah, it was a um, matter of uh, when really, and I'm just delighted to get it done. A lot of people see this as a bit of a get for Worthing, as you say, you're, you're quite an ambitious manager, you've achieved so much with the club already in your relatively young managerial career. Do you believe that the club can go up those stages with you? No, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that was a, a key thing for me, really. I just want to be somewhere that's, um, you know, progressing all the time and, um, you know, really ambitious. I don't want to sort of stagnate and stand still. I want to keep on improving. Um, like I say, relatively young still in, in, in manager terms, but got a relatively large chunk of experience behind me as well. So um, yeah, I just want to keep on progressing and you know, not just not just on the first team side, you know, the, the work I do with the youth structure as well. I just want to keep on, on progressing in all areas of the club and um, you know, the conversations that I've had with, with people, you know, they're all on the same page and, and want to take the club on and you know definitely want to be part of that journey and just feel like we're sort of scratching the surface at the moment of what we can achieve here. To say it will go down as good news for everyone at the club is probably a bit of an understatement. I think the fans would be over the moon with this news. What, what sort of message would you like to give to them? No, I'm sure there's, there's people that are be a bit disappointed as well, you know, so um, you know, bored of watching our, um, what was the comment I heard at the weekend? Some, tippy tappy football um, so we've got that to look forward to for another three years or so but no just um, you know really delighted um, you know, I've got really a uh, good good relationship with the, the, the fans here and you know I want to keep that going and how you get a good relationship I think with, with supporters of a club is by being successful and, and winning games of football and you know that's ultimately what I want to try to do um, you know I wouldn't be staying here if if we've, we've reached the ceiling of this club, you know, I want to keep on, like I say, keep on progressing, keep on, on taking the club uh, forward and you know, I think we've got people beyond the scenes now that, that want that as well. Lots to be said about the journey that you've been on with this club. You first came to the club Christmas Day 2013 for your first stint, right up to now. Compared to where the club was back then when you first came to work, then, could you have ever imagined it got to the point where we're at now? No, um, just just this week in particular, really. Um, you know, fourth round tie against Bath with eighteen hundred people here. Um, you then got a Sussex Senior Cup game where you're the holders and you're now playing against a, a league opposition. And then you're welcoming uh, Yeovil um, at home uh, in a league fixture. Um, that's far cry from um, you know where the, the first game. I think we lost heavily at Burgess Hill and then. You know, really started implementing sort of my ideas. I remember going to Eastbourne United away and a uh, really young sort of team there and um, started implementing how, how we wanted to play and yeah, it seems a, a, a far cry from, from them days and you know, it was some, some real tough days. Um, you know, how the, the clubs evolved off the pitch as well, you know, with uh, a new state-of-the-art pitch and, you know, new facilities all, all round and you know, a bit like me on the pitch really. I think the club's just scratching the surface with what they want to do here as well um, as a club. So, um, yeah, it's um, really come on well, even just seeing you guys here with your nice media outfits on with a Worthing badge. I mean, it's, didn't have that before. I think we was lucky to get Louis come and, uh, you know, film on his phone uh, back then. So, you know, the club's really, you know, evolving and going places, and it's uh, definitely something I want to be part of. And your style sort of football's pretty much followed it all the way through. It's been a big emphasis on young players, whether that be people like Will Hemden, Omar Bagil, Lloyd Dawes in those early days, when it really 
overachieving at a time when the club really looked like it could have gone out of business, you were keeping that team going at that time up to now getting promoted to the Ishmael Premier, uh, out of the Ishmael Premier a couple of years ago. That style has always followed you through. Do you believe that is the main reason that it's been so successful at the club? Um, yeah, maybe uh, it's just what, what I believe in, definitely. Um, I feel if, if you've got possession of the ball, then you're more in control of the game. Um, but yeah, I'm not saying there's a right or wrong style. Who knows like, if it was a done um, getting it back to front a little bit quicker um, and challenging second balls, who knows, we could have been achieving even more. But it's just my style, what I believe in. Um, and yeah, the club seems to have really bought into that style as well. Um, we set up a youth structure here, so really sort of proud of that and proud of giving young players an opportunity. And you know, like I say, our father club's gone. I've got a nice office now, and it's, I've got an array of shirts in there that you know fills me with enormous pride every time I walk in there to see you know some of these lads go on and, and fulfil their dreams into league football. And um, I'm sure there's there's more of them to come. Um, so it's definitely something I believe in. Um, obviously that it's going to get tougher and tougher the, the higher we go up the pyramid uh, to get youngsters um, come into our youth structure and, and into our first team but ultimately that's that's the, the philosophy and that's what I believe in and um, it's going to be harder but we're going to have to work harder then to, to give them that pathway and that opportunity because um, you know, I'm a firm believer there's, there's lots of talented lads in Sussex. This contract will take you up to the summer of 2027 with the club what is it you'd like to achieve when we get to that point? Um, just each season, I think all I've tried to do is just build on the success of, of last season. So finishing fourth last year, we want to try and improve on that this year and improve on the the wins that you get, the, the um, less goals that you concede, more goals you can score, and stuff like that. I think you know football gives you a relatively good gauge. So just want to keep on on progressing. Um, you know, be wrong for me to sit here and, and say anything else else because that's all I've tried to do since I've come in. Um, you know, it was good to be the highest ranked um, non-league club in Sussex um, last season and you know now we want to try and maintain that over the next few years and, and establish ourselves as that and then just like I say keep on progressing all areas of the club though, not just the the, the what you see out there on a Saturday but you know, all the, the youth structure, the training we give to them, the, the facilities and everything, we want to try and improve it all and just keep on um, expanding and, and getting better really, that's that's ultimately the, the goal. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to, at the end of that, them, them years to, to be in the National League and competing in the top um, ranks of, of non-league football would be, you know, an absolute dream and to say that, you know, I've been on that journey and, and ticked off a few of those leagues with Worth and would be amazing. But um, you know, I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on myself or the club. But that uh, would be uh, a sort of a, a nice target to set, I suppose.